The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. I'm on board the Striper 2605 walk around where a lot of builders have gone to 27 feet. They've gone to a wider beam and that limits where you're going to be able to take your boat. This one's still an eight and a half foot beam designed to run great on a 250. This one's got twin 150. So let's take her out and see just how she runs. The Striper 2605 has a relatively high bow for this size boat, which means you can plow her into some rough stuff or run nasty inlets with added buoyancy forward and a drier ride. Her V-track hull shape with 20 degree dead rise at the transom slices through the waves and lets you carve nice easy turns when cornering. Her chines and strakes add lift and knock down spray to give you a dry ride and moderate chop. Taking on offshore waves or the washing machine like inlets means you will eventually take water over the bow in snotty conditions, but the 2605 walk around is designed to run that water cleanly down the wide and deep side decks and overboard before reaching the cockpit. Overall, the design of this boat is intended to handle rough stuff offshore. The 2605 is well matched to the Yamaha Twin 150s I tested, but can be run with a single 250 or 300 horsepower outboard. This builder offers over 14 different outboard options. Sea Swirl also builds the 2605 in a stern drive version with a number of engine options, including a diesel version. This is a rarity in this style boat, so if you're averse to outboard engines, check out this configuration on the 2605. Since the 2605 is designed for fishing and for fun, it has a three-step swim ladder and port side transom door so you can get out and back with ease. A 30-gallon aerated live well with high-speed pickup is in the transom. Large fish boxes to port and starboard have macerators. The switches for the macerators are under the gunnels where you have washdown connections and rod racks. Batteries, battery switches, and fuel water separators are behind the hatches in the stern. On the boat I tested, the fuel water separator was difficult to reach in the stern quarter, but I'm told the builder's moving it to a handier location. There are two flush gunnel mount rod holders on each side. I found the cockpit had a lot of space for a boat this size. I measured about 84 inches gunnel to gunnel and 54 inches from the back of the jump seat to the transom, giving you about 31 square feet of cockpit. In the cockpit, the bulwarks are 29 inches high, which is about as high as I've ever seen on this type and size of boat. The combings are padded, and I like how Sea Swirl does this because it will help keep you in the boat while fighting a fish in sloppy conditions. Fold-up jump seats and a fold-away stern bench are optional, but I certainly would have the jump seats at least for a place to relax while waiting on the next bite. Even though it adds cost, I'm a big fan of an optional hardtop. This one adds more rocket launcher style rod holders, fish light, and dual color cockpit light for night running. Pompanet seats to port and starboard have three tackle organizer next to them for your favorite lures. The helm has a large Ritchie compass on top. The white fiberglass dash with a hardtop did not reflect as much as I expected it to. Instrument layout allows you to add large flat screen displays of your choice. Driving while standing or seated, I found I had good visibility and responsive hydraulic steering. Trim tabs are standard. I use very little trim tab to balance the ride. Sea Swirl designers did a good job of shoehorning in most of the necessities into the cabin, which is 7 feet 11 inches fore and aft. Forward, you can have the optional table for lunch or put in a filler cushion for a nap. To ports, a vanity with hand pump sink. An alcohol single burner stove is strapped to the back of the hatch in the front of the vanity. To starboard, the standard porta potty or porcelain toilet, which I prefer, is mounted under the bench seat. Sea Swirl Striper 2605 walk around measures 25 feet 7 inches length overall with a beam of 8 feet 6 inches. Draft in the outboard version is 18 inches. She weighs about 4,550 pounds and carries 160 gallons of fuel. Standard power is 225 horsepower and maximum rated is 300 horsepower. The 2605 proved responsive. At the dock she maneuvered well and was easy to dock single-handed. She's on plane in only 3.4 seconds and making 30 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds nearly as good as a bass boat. I found her most economical speed was 29.2 miles per hour at 3,500 RPM for a full tank range of 456 miles and a fuel burn rate of 9.2 gallons per hour. Top speed noted was 48.1 miles per hour at 5,900 RPM for 1.6 miles per gallon. But the big news about the Striper 2605 is her price. At an MSRP with a single Yamaha 225 TXR outboard, it's about $62,000, which is $20,000 less than some other 26-footers on the market. You can buy a lot of bait for that kind of money. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Rob Smith.